Okay, so today is December 13th. <clears throat> and uh, started to look at, you know, what I'm going to do for painting and that kind of thing. Um, just I need to start to think about that. And uh, so one of the things, if you, you know, look at the, the drawing and everything for the, for the paint, the um, top of the bootstripe here is about one inch below um, this upper um, plank and it's um, about two inch, the bootstripe is about two inches wide there. So if the water, so the water line should be somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe four inches or so below um, that plank. So that means that, that there's a um, large area of this plank that's, you know, the second one down from the top that's going to be basically in the water all the time. Um, so instead, so at this point, you know, previously, basically I had covered all the way to here, uh, with carbon fiber, um, down to this area, which is what it calls for in the plans. But I've decided to go ahead and cover this plank here as well. Um, just because it's going to be underwater a significant amount of the time. And even though, you know, a couple of coats of epoxy should be okay. Um, you know, if I hit a log or something like that while I'm healed over, um, it could cause some damage. So I wanted to um, beef that up a little bit. So I've gone ahead and I've done that. I put, um, covered this um, plank with um, epoxy and a uh, layer of uh, carbon fiber. I'll show you that in a second. Um, I also finished the other side of the uh, centerboard trunk with that little jig thing I made up to hold the um, tape on the inside of the, uh, the trunk. And um, yeah, so let's take a look at the boat. So it's up on a, it's up on an angle. I've tilted it uh, in the last video. You, um, it was tilted the other way over this time. I've tilted it this way so that I can get to the bottom of the uh, centerboard trunk finish the other side of that. Um, so, and so there's that, that's the centerboard trunk there. This is the rudder trunk. So the rudder will go down through that. That's all been finished. I talked about that in the, in the last video. Also cut these um, port openings, um, inspection port openings for this um, part of the hull back here, the watertight compartment there. And I've got another one up here, a larger um, eight inch diameter one for for this part up, up here forward of the mast. So I've um, got access, uh, good access to those two things. Um, you can't see it through here because of the extra um, partial bulkhead that I installed in there, but I also installed a uh, piece of wood, extra piece of reinforcing wood inside the bow in here so that later on, if I want, I can put a um, U-bolt through here uh, so that I can attach a hook for like a trailer or something like that if I if I decide I want to do that I'm not really haven't really made my mind up on that yet um, I usually go for practical things and it's very practical so I'll probably do it but um, it just doesn't look as nice so <laughs> I just made provision for it while I had you know access and um, I'll figure that out later whether I'm doing that or not but um, so here you can see so that's the top plank there and here you can see that I've covered this side with the uh, carbon fiber over here on this side. I haven't done that yet. This is all sanded down and ready to go. Um, so I just have to tilt the boat the other way to make this a little bit easier to, to get to and put it on there. So this side's all, all done. So everything but the, but the very top plank is, is covered in uh, carbon fiber. And um, I threw an extra coat of epoxy on here just to seal it up a little bit more. Um, this will get painted. Um, still working out my painting scheme and everything, but um, I'm not leaving it, um, you know, bright wood finish like this. That's too much work. Um, so it looks nice right now. So um, that's a nice thing, but it's going to get painted later. This and then down here um, at this joint. So this is the carbon fiber that was shown in the, in the plans. There's supposed to be, um, fiberglass coming up to the bottom of this, um, plank here. And so now I've covered this here and then I'm just going to apply a little carbon fiber tape, um, over this gap here. Um, not, you know, just to reinforce it a little bit. And, uh, so, but that, um, tape's coming in in a few days. So 
So when it comes in, I'll, I'll do that. And that'll, so this is, this from the bottom, this is continuous two layers of carbon fiber over this joint. And then um, that'll be over this joint as well. Um, so that, you know, the whole thing will, you know, I know I'm overdoing it, but anyway, it'll be super strong and that won't add too much more weight to it. Um, this is the centerboard trunk down here. You can see how that came out with the uh, carbon fiber tape on both sides of that and then, you know, and tucked up on the inside um, of the slot. And then I put a piece on the ends um, and, and it's nice. This, uh, what's nice about this biaxial tape is that it bends and folds very easily. Um, so that's why I use it so much, but um, it's expensive, but it's, you know, really easy to use and gives you ability to make some nice shapes. So basically just able to put this on here, um, epoxy it on, and then just stick my finger with the, you know, my uh, glove on it and just kind of push that in there uh, with my pinky and, and mold it to a nice round um, shape on the inside. So did both the ends of the centerboard are nicely finished off like that. So that's basically, I think, it for the it for the moment. Um, oh yeah. So I should also mention I was rotating the hull, um, tilting the hull one way to the other using the pulley system. And how I was doing is I basically had some ropes going down and then under the boat, sort of a sling thing and and uh, some pulleys on, on either end, some pulley systems so that I could um, basically tilt it and, and whatever, but it would tend to like slide in the, in the um, slings uh, and not stay at the angle that I wanted it. So in the end, what I decided to do um, is to put a couple of temporary, some temporary holes through um, these bulkheads. So there's one there, one up there, and you can see this one right here and then one forward up there. So I just drilled a half inch hole through there, put a piece of three eighths um, rope through the hole, um, tied a knot onto it, connected it to a pulley. So therefore um, it can't actually slide anymore and I've got much more control over tilting it and how much tilt there is and, and that sort of thing. I've left the other um, sling things on there uh, is basically an extra safety thing. So if something should break on one of these other things or something comes loose, it's still going to be sitting in the slings. It'll probably just sort of, you know, slide a little bit um, if something uh, snapped, but it's not going to fall and hit the uh, floor of the garage or anything. Um, so, um, and then, so when I'm tilting it, basically I just loosen those slings a little bit or start pulling up on on like, you know, so in a few minutes, I'm going to tilt it um, the other way so I can start working on the carbon fiber on this side. And I'll just pull up on these ropes here and then lower those down a little bit. So it's just kind of like just hovering above the whole sling system as it rotates from, you know, one side to the other. Uh, makes it really easy to, to work on. And eventually, not that far in the future, this will all get um, covered over. So I'll just fill those holes in with epoxy because the combing is going to be going... Um, in this area here, and then a little cabin um, up forward in this space. And um, so actually you should be able to get to the inside of this space here, uh, inside the cabin, but back here where it's um, the combing is uh, gonna be, um, there won't be any access to, to those um, holes there anymore. Um, so just fill those in before I cover them over. So this boat's getting, uh, coming along nicely. I'm pretty excited about it and um, very excited about how durable, um, strong, and then also um, safe uh, and resilient the boat should be. Um, difficult to, to capsize, easy to write back up, and just so many watertight compartments and that sort of thing. So um, should be a lot of fun to go sailing around with uh, exploring all kinds of places. Thanks.